Does mouth breathing actually make you dumb? This is so controversial. People develop recessed jaws because of mouth breathing, not eating properly, not swallowing properly, and poor body posture. And recessed jaws narrow the airway. When we sleep, soft tissue narrows the airway even more. And in extreme cases, it closes the airway completely. This is called sleep apnea. Sleep apnea causes restless sleep and intermittent suffocation. And all of that causes extreme chronic inflammation. So mouth breathing recesses the jaws. Recessed jaws can cause sleep apnea and those with sleep apnea are chronically inflamed. And this severely damages IQ. This science paper titled Childhood Sleep Apnea Linked to Brain Damage Lower IQ says, quote, children with obstructive sleep apnea had lower mean IQ test scores, 85, than children without obstructive sleep apnea, 101. Children with obstructive sleep apnea also performed worse on standardized tests measuring executive functions such as verbal working memory, 8 versus 15, and worse fluency, 9.7 versus 12. Mouth breathing and specifically poor mouth posture leads to the jaw recession that can cause a 16 point drop in IQ. Send this video to mouth breathing friends or family members because there are zero positives. You're less healthy. Obstructive sleep apnea can take up to 20 years off your life. You're less intelligent and you're less good looking. It's a triple whammy of terrible eventualities. Even if you don't suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, you can still be chronically inflamed from mouth breathing. And that could still take a few IQ points away from you. When you aren't filtering, temperature controlling and humidifying the air you breathe because you're choosing to breathe through your mouth instead of your nose, you may suffer from chronic low-grade inflammation which may impair cognitive performance. The more forward grown a face is, the less likely you are to suffer from sleep apnea. And that forward growth can be achieved by following this beauty quadrant and this health quadrant. In the first 15 years of life, the face grows forward, chronic inflammation is stamped out, and mouth breathing is forever halted. Learn how to apply these principles and avoid mouth breathing forever. In the first 56 pages of Beauty Potential, how facial beauty is retained or lost.